you have two daughters, you have many granddaughters. If one of them was raped, and I, I accept it's a very unlikely thing to happen, but if they were, would you honestly look at them in the eye and say they had to have that child if they were impregnated? Now, if, if it's an honest rape, um, that individual should go immediately to the emergency room. I would give them uh, a shot of estrogen. Or give so you, them, you would allow them to abort the baby? Yeah, well, it is absolutely in limbo because an hour after, after intercourse or a day afterwards, there is no legal or medical uh, you know, problem. If you talk about somebody coming in and they say, well, I was raped and I'm seven months pregnant and I don't want to have anything to do with it, it's a little bit different story. But somebody arriving in an emergency room say, I have just been raped, and uh, there's, there's no chemical, there's no medical, and there's no legal uh, so evidence of a pregnancy. So life doesn't begin at conception? Life does begin at conception, but... Uh, well, then you'd be taking a life. Well, you don't know if you're taking a life either, because this is, this is an area that uh, is... But to, to decide everything about abortion and respect for life on this one very, very theoretical condition where there may have been a life or not a life. No, but here's the thing. Although it is a hypothetical, it does happen. People do get raped and they do get impregnated and sometimes they're so ashamed by what's happened no. that weeks go by before they may even discover they're pregnant. And they have to face this dilemma and they're going to have a president who has a very, very okay. strong view well, about this. Now, this is like uh, the proposal that the people who like abortion endorse abortion uh, because it's a woman's right to her body. You say, well, does that mean one minute before birth you can kill the baby? And I did this on one of the TV programs mm -hmm. where some women were opposed to what I was saying. I said, this non-time baby, it's in the woman, she has the right, she argues with her case. I said, you would abort this baby because the woman has had some unfortunate circumstances, so the doctor gets paid a handsome fee to kill this non-time baby. Oh, that's not what we're talking about. But that is what they're talking about. They're talking about a human life. So um, a, a person immediately after rape, uh, yes, uh, it's a tough one, and uh, I won't satisfy everybody there.